setting up your agency IQ auto dialer system. First of all, let's go to your agency settings link located in the top right hand corner. Inside of your agency settings link, we'll see a dialer tab. Here, we click on it. Then what you will need to do is you will need to be able to decide how would you like to be able to manage your account. If you choose an automatic draft, then we will automatically draft your account as soon as your account balance reaches a certain amount of money with which you can delegate. And then we will recharge your account with the amount of money with which you would like to be able to choose. If you would like to manually recharge your account for the auto dialer within Agency IQ, then you can automatically move it to manual and then put in the amount of money to be applied directly to your credit card and click save. Now the charge on the auto dialer is just eight cents a minute. You put money in your account and then as you utilize the auto dialer feature, we're gonna deduct that directly from your account. So that's an easy way to make sure that you can maintain your file. Now if we look down into the auto dialer screen, we do have multiple avenues to be able to set up. First of all is called our caller ID. To add a caller ID, just click the add caller ID option. Then put in the phone number that you would like your prospect to see when their phone rings. The caller ID will have to be verified by you before we can utilize this as your caller ID. So if you do have a phone tree, then what you need to do is be able to say www, which is wait for a second and a half. And then after the phone tree is reached, it'll wait a second and a half, press the two. And then once it presses the two, it'll go ahead and it'll go to that extension number two. If you have a longer extension, such as extension 210, or another extension that you would like for the phone to be able to press the button for, you can put it in after the W's. Now the caller ID name is going to be the name inside the system. This is only a name as a description for your caller ID that your agents will be able to see inside the system. This is not a public caller ID name. Here we can indicate which producers can utilize this caller ID. Different producers may have a caller ID for different extensions. So therefore you may want to be able to have different phone numbers represent different producers. Let's say that this caller ID specifically applies to Sally Manager. Now once a phone number is inside of your caller ID, we need to verify it. You're gonna notice here it says once it's verified. So what I would do is if, it, if the caller ID is set up correctly, I would click the verify option. When I click the verify option, notice that up at the top you get a green bar. Now it's calling our main line and then if it gets our phone tree, it will press the extension with which to go directly through our office. Once we are able to pick up the phone, we do have a six digit PIN verification number here. This PIN verification number will need to be entered into the caller ID verification process to make sure that we complete the verification process. Once your caller ID is verified, it will look just like this and it will tell you that it has been verified. Therefore, you are now ready to be able to utilize this as your caller ID.